Hey guys, YouTube's been real awesome about the community guidelines, so if you are over the age of 18, you're cool. But if you're not, please don't watch this. Man, that super fucking strong daytime high. Give me a broom. Let me fucking sweep a floor, you know? What this fucking strain does. <laughs> Came through tripping Aquafina, I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. Bro, make bitches, I'm on my business, that chicken like what it's gonna be. So, rolled up some Girl Scout cookies into this raw cone. And I also rolled up some Amherst Sour Diesel into the King Palm. And I just realized I said rolled up. And there's going to be multiple comments rolling in. Bro, you didn't roll shit, bro. You fucking packed that, man. You're weak. Cool, man. You got me. I fucking packed it. I did not roll it. We're going to get super lit, light both these up. Not at the same time. And then uh, I also got a two fort roar bong and a Mobius stemless bong, and we're gonna pull both those out and also take some rips. So, yeah, we got four strains to review, four ways to get fucking loaded, and, uh, fuck it. Let's just get high and light this up and start. I got no fucking lighter. Lighter. fucking tasty so this cookies has a super sweet turd profile and this pheno of the girl scout cookies and well just typically most girl scout cookies they're strong man it's a strong strain Ooh. i'm pretty sure most phenos of the girl scout cookies really puts out some good resin production but yeah this turd profile fucking sweet Girl Scout Cookies, it's a very popular strain right now across the whole community of cannabis, man. Girl Scout Cookies, the wedding cake, dosey dose gelatos. There's numerous, I just named all the strains that I'm just starting to grow. Well, those are very popular strains and that's why we're fucking with them, right? Fucking halfway through this joint already. Shh, just ashed everywhere. Fucking rookie. So yeah, this Fino the Girl Scout Cookies had your typical golf size buds. I mean, rock dense, super dense, but they're not like the big colas. They just don't develop that way. We should wrap this up real quick and get into the next string. Look at that. Smoked a lot of that joint, man. I'm gonna put this out. <clears throat> Better turn on my Enviro Cleanse. It's not on right now. Actually, I can't turn it on. <coughs> I'm recording. Fuck. So yeah, I've been fucking with that EnviroCleanse unit quite a bit. It's that air purifier. A couple of videos ago, I actually showed it. Where's the last video? No, it was a couple of videos ago. Every single time I smoke up and get super high in the house, which is quite often, I really don't care to smoke out in the public. There's an apartment building that lives really close to me. So like, if I smoke a lot of weed outside, I'm really just pissing off a lot more than my neighbor. It's like, a hundred neighbors. So it's why I smoke a lot in my house. The second I start having a smoke sesh, I will turn on my Enviro Cleanse unit and the house just clears up a lot quicker. So I'm fucking pumped. Thank you for sending that if you're watching Enviro Cleanse. Probably not. Probably not. Ugh. I will have a link down below and of course a promo code so you actually save some money on your order. Let's get fucking high. No, let's light a bong up. Came through tripping Aquafina, I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. Blow make bitches, I'm my, my okay. bitches that chicken. So I got the Mobius stemless bong out first, and we're gonna rip a one snap pull. Or at least I'm gonna try to pull it a one snap. I don't fuck with bongs too much anymore. I tend to be a dabber. You know? I'm a dabber. Mmm, <laughs> so fucking good. It's like the perfect, while I had that flower in my hand, it just felt like the perfect amount of moisture for smoking flour and 57%, which is literally just about ideal for smoking joints or uh, bong bowls. If you're into pressing rosin, 62% is the ideal uh, RH for uh, rosin returns, but uh, yeah. Hopefully I can do this in one pull. Okay. Mobius, stemless glass. Chocolate Min OG, one pull. Came through 
Drippin' Aquafina, I'm sippin' 15, kept a weapon on me Flow make digits, I'm on my business, stack chicken like what it's gon' be Crew in the cut, ain't you want us for I had some kick. <coughs> Ugh. Well, I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> I think I put too much flame on that bowl to really get any fucking solid taste, but let's still do a review on the Chocolate Man OG. That stuff's super loud. I find like every time I roll something up and just leave it out for like a few minutes before I have to do something, it just stinks the entire room up. Super strong indica. Really high turp profile. It's super sweet. One of those strains that can make your mouth water pretty fucking easy. I did find that the resin production was good, but it was super oily. I prefer more of a granular, like a salt kind of end hash. It still put out good returns. Like I was getting over 23, 24% return with the Chocolate Man OG. So it was good that way. It's just was super oily. And it was good though. Like if you don't mind that, like that oiliness, it was so fucking terpy and just delicious and it was like sauce. It was really fucking good. But it was also darker. For some reason, the Chocolate Man OG resins always put out darker hash. However, it was fucking quality. King Palm. Aim her sour diesel. Let's get swifty. <laughs> I wanted to say that and I fucking forgot. I really fucking dig these King Pumps. Got them off Amazon. Same with the Rock Homes, actually. Both Amazon orders. I call this Amherst Sour Diesel like it's like my berry gas and it's straight sativa. This is such a different high from smoking Girl Scout cookies or like Chocolate Man OG or Granddaddy Purple, all super heavy indicas. This is why I had to introduce some kind of sativa and I went with Amherst Sour Diesel. No clue why. I think it was just mainly because I wanted a sour diesel and I've been really digging Humboldt Seed Organization even though they got pretty popular and for some reason every now and then people bag on me because I roll with Humboldt Seed Organization. I'd fuck with these back in the day when I was 18. The King Palms, fucking all natural fucking leaf. Gets you away from that tobacco and I don't smoke cigarettes and shit. So the only time I was really ingesting any kind of tobacco was when I was smoking blunts. And I don't know, man, that blunt, it's it's close to me. It's, it's big time culture from where I'm from. I hope you guys enjoy these smoke reports. I really don't do them often. It is rare that you ever see me smoking in videos now. You never know what's good with YouTube. However, I personally watch a lot of smoking channels and I really enjoy them and it's something that I could fucking easily do, I think. So yeah, show some love down below. Hit that like button and uh, drop it down in the comment if you want to see more shit like this. And if so, what exactly? Amher Sour Diesel, if I had to give this a rating, straight up, I know to like never give a perfect rating. This would be like 9 out of 10. This is like some straight berry fucking gas, super strong sativa. It's time to load up a bomb bowl. I'm fucking lit. One final strain, the Granddaddy Purple, and it leaves us with a fucking two foot roar bomb. Hey. So, Granddaddy Purple, and I don't even know if this is gonna fit in the frame. Oh, all right. There's no way I'm gonna fucking do this one pull snap and clear, no fucking way. So don't fucking expect it, bro. It's got like a grapiness, but there's a spice to it, man. I have not fucking hit this in like three months. <sighs> nah, it's not gonna happen. But not from lack of fucking effort. Came through tripping Aquafina, I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. Blow make digits, I'm on my business.
stack chicken like what it's gon' be. Crew in the cut, hey, you want us for a run when I tell a piece. Love is love. Should have packed more. I handled that like 30 times better. Because <coughs> all those practice hours, bro. You see, man? You want to be good at anything. You just got to fucking practice. <coughs> bro. <coughs> Thanks for fucking stopping in. Watching this here video. If you did like it, of course, you know, hit the like button. Super obvious, I know. And well, uh, if you got like a stoner friend or something, maybe share it with them. That'd be pretty cool. They got a Patreon page too if you want to show more love than just a like and a comment, which by the way, that is more than enough. New videos and just early releases and if you got questions on anything, honestly, Patreon is the best spot for that and uh, there's multiple tiers. Fuck, I'm so stoned. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm gonna go take off and uh, probably smoke the rest of this fucking King Palm and take Harley for a walk. Come on, Harley. Let's go, buddy. Man, that super fucking strong daytime high. Give me a broom. Let me fucking sweep a floor, you know? What this fucking strain does. <laughs> Came through tripping Aquafina. I'm sipping 15. Kept a weapon on me. Blow make bitches. I'm on my bin and stack chicken like what it's gonna be. Crew in the cut. Hey, you want us for a run when I tell a peace. Love is.